Have you ever held a product in your hand and wondered just how in the world a brand managed to make it? Well, the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED was one of those products for me. This incredibly thin notebook feels like it came through a wormhole from the future. A future where we have advanced so far in tech that thin and light notebooks perform just the same as bulky powerhouses and somehow pack all the fancy tech you need at the same time. Right from the moment I got my hands on the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED, I kind of felt like I was in for something new. Even the packaging came in biodegradable cardboard that is so green it felt rough. You know when something has been recycled to the moon and back that it is literally the most natural source of material you can find? That's the box here. From the cardboard handle to the flimsy and light compartment box, this is Asus at its peak of green, and I love it. The notebook itself is in a league of its own too. It weighs in at under 1kg and is only 11mm thin at its thinnest point. My iPhone is 7mm, my Switch is 30mm, so this notebook is thinner than my Nintendo Switch OLED and just 3mm thicker than my iPhone. The 1kg is also impressive but frightening at the same time. One day during my review I took it out to a meeting with me and naturally picked up my backpack to almost have a heart attack thinking that someone stole the device out of my bag. I'm so used to lugging my heavy MacBook around that, that this device felt like there was nothing in the bag in the first place. The Asus ZenBook S13 OLED is made from metal. The metal covers the entire unit including the bottom, top shell and inner area by the keyboard. It is cool to the touch and gives it a sturdy feel. Even the lid has very little wobble to it too and I could open the device with one hand and without the bottom lifting off the ground. The same can be said for typing which resulted in no wobble. On the top of the notebook there's the ASUS ZenBook logo etched into the metal. There's also a bit of text. At the bottom there's two tiny vents for ventilation and two large rubber strips for grip. In terms of the ports, on the left you'll find two USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 4 support. There's also an HDMI 2.1 port. On the right there's a USB 3.2 port and an audio jack combo. Inside there's the OLED panel which is simply superb. It is a 2.8K 60Hz 16x10 OLED with 515 nits of peak brightness. As OLED panels go, this is just as pretty. Given this 13 inch display and the 2.8K resolution, the PPR here is incredible and everything looks crisp and vibrant. The display supports Dolby Vision and HDR. Asus has also included a range of color presets on the device which tweaks the accuracy to suit all sorts of creative needs. This means you can go from native sRGB to DCI-P3 with a simple toggle. I was happy with the panel, it gets bright enough to work in a somewhat bright area. The 550 nits isn't enough to carry the display outside in the sun, but it does get a good enough job done in brightly lit rooms. The panel can also bend all the way back onto its lid. No matter what angle I had the notebook at, the panel was also clear. No issues with viewing angles here at all. Asus has also packed some pretty decent speakers into the ZenBook S13 OLED. Likely the best I have heard in the market from this tier of notebooks. It doesn't beat Apple's Supernatural MacBook Pro speakers, but there's definitely some fancy tech in here. The sound packed some decent punch, and even at max volume, the sound was impressive. It even gets, it even makes listening to music pleasant. Again, this will never replace a headset, and there's almost no bass here, but the speakers are noteworthy simply because of the size of this notebook. Other features on this Asus ZenBook S13 OLED include a half-size keyboard with white LED backlighting. There's also a webcam with Windows Hello support and a large trackpad. The keyboard is nice to type on and the slight angle of the base which is formed thanks to the lid acting as the feet helped with my wrist rest. The backlighting also got bright enough to see what was happening all the time. The webcam is okay, the Windows Hello support works well in all environments and the IR blaster also makes it possible to function in the dark. The quality of the webcam on the other hand wasn't as great. It is again a 720p camera and the lens is a bit blurry. It doesn't handle dark areas very well either, but it will do. There are some cool features here such as head tracking and noise cancellation on the microphone which will make all Zoom meeting people jump for joy. The trackpad is also great, it is large enough to perform gestures and I didn't feel like it got in the way. Clicking on it was also satisfying too which helped to get around. 
Given the tiny size of this notebook, you would think that Asus had to skimp on the performance to build such a thin and light device. However, that isn't exactly the case. The Asus ZenBook S13 OLED packs a 13th gen Core i7-1355U CPU, which is a pretty capable chip. It also comes with 16GB of RAM, upgradable to 32GB. There isn't a dedicated GPU here, and instead the notebook makes use of Intel's XE chip. The performance tests on the notebook showed that while the 1355U isn't the most powerful CPU, it gets the job done. On paper, the scores aren't top tier, but you won't even notice an issue here. The combination of the CPU and the SSD and the wafer-thin design makes this notebook a dream to work on. I had almost no lagging even with dozens of internet tabs open and watching videos at the same time. You'll easily be able to edit some photos too and even do some light video editing. The Intel XE GPU will also carry the odd game here and there. You'll easily be able to get away with some light gaming. However, given my current obsession with Diablo 4, I wanted to test out if the CPU runs the game. Diablo 4 has a special graphics mode for low-end GPUs called Low FX Mode, and I have to say this notebook did a fairly stable job running the game. I had to crank everything down to the lowest possible setting and enable Low FX Mode, but I managed to play the game at around 30 FPS at 1080p. Sure, the visuals are a bit of an arsehole, but hey, you're playing Diablo 4 on this crazy the notebook and it is an achievement on its own. The battery on the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED is a 63 watt per hour cell and it performs as expected. I got max 6 hours of internet browsing and daily work done before I had to plug it into charge. I could get it to last longer but that would have to mean compromising on the performance and the display brightness at the same time. Overall, the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED is definitely one of the more impressive lightweight notebooks I've used. Asus has taken this lightweight definition to a whole new level here, and the performance on offer is unworldly at times. Don't get me wrong, it is not the most powerful device around, but you have to compare apples with apples, and this on-the-go notebook is outstanding. And those are my thoughts on the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. Are you looking at picking one of these devices up? Let me know in the comments down below. Also be sure to like and subscribe while you are here and visit www.glitchedonline for more gaming tech news and reviews. Until next time, farewell.